Hey there again everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, the gimmick style Nuzlocke challenge. Once again you can see we're back in Lavender Town, because I want to go south through Route 12, 13, 14, and so forth to get our way to Fuchsia City. I think taking Cycling Road right now might be a little too challenging for our guys, especially since some of them are still low level and I want to get them higher level so they'll be ready to evolve. We're just going to take this nice seaside stroll through Route 12. Which, by the way, we haven't caught anything on Route 12 yet. So this is a place that we'll have to come back to at one point to catch some Pokemons. Also saw that Pokeball that we left behind. We can't get that yet until we get Surf. And there's another reason I'm coming down this way. That is that the fishing guru is around here somewhere, and he will give us the super rod. Electricity is my speciality. All right, rocker. Voltor. And who do we have? We have Brobosaur. Not the best choice, especially at his low level. Our birds are not going to be able to handle this. So how about we fight fire with fire, and throw out our electric type. You missed me! Oh no! You would, you jerk! Oh, wow, Sunny held out. You're gonna blow up too, aren't you? Can't trust those Volt Orbs. Or Electrodes. You know what really gets me, though? Nobody got any experience for that. Unplugged. What? Robosaur is evolving. And Robosaur is an Ivysaur. Water conducts electricity. So you should zap sea Pokemon. Yeah, I know. Now, thankfully, we have a revive. And on top of that, we have some fresh water, some soda pop. We're going to use those to heal Sunny. There you go. I also have the Sylph Scope because I was back in Pokemon Tower doing some training. Um, it didn't turn out as good as I would have hoped. I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like the fish? Well, yes, yes I do. Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. Max received a super rod. Fishing is a way of life. From the seas to the rivers, go out and land the big one. I want the Super Rod, because we can catch some of the best uh, Water-type Pokémon there are in the game with it. We're not going to go fishing just yet, though. But we will want to keep fishing in mind, because we are still, you know, abiding by the one Pokémon per route rule. Alright. And you know what? I forgot Scruffy. I don't need Scruffy around. I have to go back and get him. Have you found the Moonstone? Actually, I found three of them. Alright, Nidoran Nail. Gary, I don't think you quite have what it takes. On top of that, you're a normal type, and Nidoran probably knows some fighting type moves. 
You know what? Let's see if Bobo can handle you. How does fighting handle poison? I don't remember. Well, so far the answer seems to be pretty good. Stooges quite a bit. And they have learned a Drill Peck, which is a pretty darn strong flying type move. Still not what I would call tough, though. evolving. And Gary the Rat has become Gary the Raticate. What? Professor Bobo is evolving? And Bobo has become a primate. Professor Bobo is trying to learn Rage. But Bobo can't learn more than four moves. Delete an older room, an older move to make room for Rage. Well, let's see, what moves do we have? Well, you know what? I've never cared much for Fury Swipes, so let's drop that. If I remember Rage correctly, what it's a normal type attack that if you get struck while performing it, your attack will increase. We have my fact checkers over here who could correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, you know what? We're going to head back to Lavender to grab Scruffy real quick. And since Bert knows how to fly, we're just going to fly over there. So I'm going to switch Pokemon, I'm also going to heal them. Uh, those of you watching the stream will have to put up with this, but those of you watching at home uh, will just uh, get to enjoy the following scene transition. Okay, so we're back to where we were, and I grabbed Scruffy, I also grabbed Cinder, and I left Gary and Robosaur back where they were. We're probably going to have to fight this dude right here. That dude right there looks like a fisherman. So let's try putting Sunny up front. You never know what you could catch. Alright, it is a fisherman. And he sends out Magikarp. High level Magikarp. For some reason, he wouldn't let his magic carp evolve into a Gyarados. Quick and easy, just the way I like it. Lost it!
I catch Magikarp all the time, but they're so weak. Hey, that grew back. Iron. That's a little item that helps increase your defense. Might end up using that on somebody. Probably on Sunny. So I see a bunch of tall grass. We could start wandering around in there to catch Pokemon. But I honestly don't want to come back here until we can surf. Hi there. I found Carbos in a cave once. She sends out Goldeen. A water type that knows flying and, and psychic type moves. Not psychic, what are like supersonic and stuff like that? No oh, no match for Sunny though. Horsey. Now, I would love to get my hands on a horsey. And who knows, maybe at some point we will. Just messed up. Carbos boosts the speed of my Pokemon. Okay. I see two pairs of trainers down there. I'm gonna put Stooges up front. Because I want him to gain some levels. Oh, birds versus birds. If I left Sunny up front, we would have made short work of them. Still did pretty good. Okay, I think Peck can take care of you. We didn't. I was wrong. Stooges. My bird combo lost. What? Stooges evolving. Alright, and that goofy, two-headed, ostrich-looking thing. Comes this badass, three-headed bird Ghidra. Pokemon look happy, even though they lost. Well, they might just be. They're probably just happy to be out having fun with you. Now we're going to use Soda Pop to heal Stooges. We also have a Lemonade down there, and as I understand, Lemonade is actually a stronger healing item than Super Potions. They're also cheaper. But we can only buy them one at a time from one place. I might invest some time in getting more, but we'll do that later. Alright, Stooges. Now, Stooges might just be able to sweep this team, but I want some of my other guys to get some experience. Bobo, Meowth is a normal type, so you should be able to handle this no problem. Looking sprite for the uh, primate, isn't it? Okay, 
Okay, another normal type. No match for Bobo's Kicks of Fury. Okay, another bird. And birds do not like electricity. Yeah, you can not handle this, Sonny. Oh, I lost. I wanted to become a good trainer. I'll train hard. Well, that's the right way to do it. Just keep training hard, you'll do fine. Oh, and on top of that, I think we're on a new route. Yes, we're on Route 13. Route 13, north to Silent Bridge. Well, let's deal with some of these trainers first. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. So what do you got? Clefairies and... I was gonna say Clefairies... And, uh, Jigglypuffs. I'm counting on you to make quick work of these enemies. I want to get you a few more levels. So I think in the next four levels or so, you're going to go wow. Honestly, Bert might be better off just using Quick Attack over and over again here. Pidgeotto. Sunny, if you will do uh, the honors. Nice chunk of experience, though. Wow, you totally won! You have to make Pokemon fight to toughen them up. Well, that's true, and we've been doing a lot of that. Wow, your badges are too cool! Okay, Poliwag. Level 30 water type. We're a level 33 flying normal, so we're okay.
Now so far this whole area has been perfect for Sunny. Birds and water types everywhere. Badges from gym leaders. I know. Well, it's true. That's how you get them. All right. I see. I see what a pair of twins up here looks like. Sure, I'll play with you. All right. Beauty wants to fight. Beauty sent out. Rat attack. chunk of change. I wonder which is stronger, male or female Pokemon? Uh, generally speaking, I don't think it makes a difference. We'll use this lemonade on um, Bert. Want the Pokemon with me? Beauty wants to fight, and Beauty has Clefairy. Just a regular old normal type. Bobo would actually make short work of you, so I think we're gonna send him out. Minimize. Minimize is one of those powers that makes it harder for you to get hit. So poor Bobo may be stuck here, swinging at air. Nah, he got it. Meowth is another normal type. It's over already. I don't know anything about Pokemon. I just like cool ones. Yet you're running around with me out. Alright, what does this say? Trainer tips. Use select to switch items in the item window. Well, that's pretty good advice. Thankfully, we knew about it already. Scruffy, if you'd be so kind. Now, we are on a new route. So... So, let's see who we catch. A Bellsprout. We already have a Bellsprout. So, we do not have to catch this if we don't want to. Pretty high level Bellsprout, too. I 
thought there was somebody in here. Maybe I was see seeing things. Well, let's wander around for a little longer and see who our new Pokemon for this route will be. Well, this is, this is going to be a good training area, actually. Oh, what do we have here? We have the Wild Oddish. Bert will probably ruin Oddish's day. That's alright, we're going to switch you out for Sunny. You jerk. You put us to sleep, we play the Poker Flute. wave to paralyze you. And I think Scruffy, who is the janitor, will start to wear you down a bit. Normally this would be a bad idea, because Scruffy is a ground type, and this is a plant poison. But we paralyzed Oddish, and on top of that, we've also reduced its accuracy. And a big reason we're choosing Scruffy over anybody else is Scruffy is a close level to the Oddish, so he's less likely to kill it. You see, that hurt it a lot. See, two critical hits, wow. But we should be perfectly able to grab this Pokemon. I grabbed some extra great balls for it. I grabbed some extra great balls as well. Okay, we got Oddish. Oddish, the weed Pokemon. It may be mistaken for a clump of weeds. If you try to yank it out of the ground, it shrieks horribly. You want to give a nickname to Oddish. Yes. Now, what is Oddish? Evolved into, I know it becomes a Gloom, but is that the second or third evolution? The second one, yeah. Oddish, Gloom, Vile Plume. Or Bellossom, but Bellossom is not in the the first generation game. So, if you're going to turn into a vile plume at some point, what are we going to name you? Hmm. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? I'm Dr. Plume. I'm interested in things. I'm not a real doctor, but I am a real plume. I am an actual plume. I bloom like a rose. I'm interested in things. Alright, Dr. Plume it is. We are done in here. Oh! Thank you for reminding me. We have poisoned and paralyzed Pokemon to take care of.
Alright, back to our adventure. Keep our eyes open for more trainers. Oh, there's two. And there's a third, so let's go take him on. I always go with bird Pokemon. Well, can your bird Pokemon handle my bird Pokemon? Answer is no. Actually, Sunny's Sunny's a little beat up, so we're just gonna keep this between Bert and all the other birds. My quick attack beats your quick attack. You know, Firo. I don't think your fear is gonna stand up very long. Ooh, mirror move. If that worked, that would have been good. Good job, Bert. Out of power. I wish I could fly like Pidgey and Pidgeotto. Well, I got an HM machine here that might do that for you. Up, oh, PPO. Those can increase the number of moves, of rather, the number of times a Pokemon can use one of its moves. See, whenever you walk somewhere that looks a little odd, just try pressing the A button and see if you find something. The wind's blowing my way. More birds. Should have sent out. Uh, Should have sent out Sunny. But I really, really want Bert to level up. Oh, what do you know? Now one more should do it. And by one more, I mean one more level. Yep, just doing the same thing over and over again. But, hey, it works. Can't argue with results, can you? The wind turned. I'm beat. I guess I'll fly home. And I think we're gonna switch up our dudes a little bit. Now watch the next guy I meet not have any birds. Watch him have like a bunch of ground and rock types. I'm gonna sneak around you.
Hey there. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. Well, you can use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon, but you don't need to. And we're gonna do that at some point. I've been going through my TMs, getting rid of the ones I don't like, and hanging on to the ones that I do. I think we're gonna end up teaching uh, Spike and Barb some uh, moves. Not good enough. You have some HMs, right? Pokemon can't ever forget those moves. Which is unfortunately true. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Uh, you keep setting them up, I'll keep knocking them down. Not ready yet. They need to learn better moves. Nah, you just... You just have the type disadvantage, that's all. Alright, one more guy over here. Somewhere over here, there he is. What are you looking at? Uh-oh, that's a biker. Okay, Wolfing, poison type. Bert should be able to handle this. Uh oh. We don't need you poison. Gotta get this poison off of him as soon as we can. You know what? Let's just do it now and hope that we don't get poisoned again. Okay, that's our last use of fly. Down you go. 
Dang, strip the gears. Get lost. Yeah, you sore loser. It looks like that is the only trainer left. So let's go say hello to him. TMs are on sale on Celadon, but only a few people have HMs. Alright, Pidgeotto versus Pidgeotto. Mine's a little banged up though, and is out of fly attacks. Send out your fear of. Make short work of all your birds. into Pidgeot. Teach Pokemon moves of the same elemental type for more power. Well, I can't think of a better place to end this video than with Bert evolving into his final form. So, this episode has gone on for more than long enough. I am going to call it an episode here, but when we get back together next time, we'll finish this route. And you know what? I think after we finish this route, we'll try cycling the road again. Catch you next time.